know your pupil and identify and stretch the rigid pupil. Chang and Campbell published that unlike non-elastic pupils, the IFIS pupil immediately snaps back when stressed. So there are two types of small pupil, elastic pupil and the non-elastic or the rigid pupil. We have an elastic pupil which is like a rubber band and any device will work. Whereas the rigid pupil is like a string. It needs to be torn or broken. So you need to use either Kuglin hooks or a bulky expander to do that. We could check the elasticity or rigidity of the pupil before starting. Just inject PSS to the paracentesis and if the pupil momentarily expands, you know that it is an elastic pupil and you do not need to stretch that pupil. Whereas if you inject BSS through the side port and the pupil does not budge or expands only minimally, you know it's a rigid pupil and you need to stretch that pupil by manually, not limbus to limbus, but just sufficient to allow you safe placement, about 4.5 to 5 millimeters to allow placement of a pupil device. And once you've done that, you're a lot safer. The choice depends on how you wish to tear the rigid pupil. With two Kuglin hooks, the hair thin BX allows a lot of space in the AC for instruments. To tear with the pupil expander, it has to be bulky and that would obstruct instruments. A rigid pupil and a hard cat ride. A bimanual stretch makes it easier to tuck the flanges of the BX. As we can see, the 5.5 mm pupil is more than adequate to emulsify even this hard a cataract. Rigid pupil stretching was not attempted by manual tucking of the flanges using the forceps and the iris hook or Kuglin hook helps engage the BX with ease. So let's identify and stretch the rigid pupil. 